Hello and welcome to the Trending Now, a podcast for this Friday, July 26, 2024. Thanks for joining us. However you found us as we recap the week that was on Trending Now, which you can catch every Monday to Friday, 7 p.m. to 11.30 on CHCH, chch chch.com, and streaming live on our Trending Now YouTube page. Coming up on today's show... Another weekend, another U.S. election shocker as President Joe Biden drops out of the race, endorses his vice president for the job, and addresses the nation all of this while getting over COVID and meeting with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. How the race is shaping out just over 100 days from Americans heading to the polls. And the Olympics getting underway today as Canada enters under a cloud of controversy after their head coach Bev Priestman was sent home for following allegations of spying on their opponent's practice, a practice that may have been going on for years, will have the latest. And a little different today, because it is the dog days of summer, uh, (laughs) to put it lightly, I guess. Um, We're doing a little differently. Uh, Of course, Emily Taylor has been hosting and producing Trending Now all this week. Uh, I've been on Trending Now all this week. There's no show today. Um, But it's, I mean, like, it's just been a a busy, busy week. We are doing the podcast today, obviously. Here we are. Um, But, like, Take us through, and I asked this where last week um, with Nicole, like, where were you when Trump got shot? Where were you when he found out Biden wasn't running on Sunday? Oh, you know what? I was actually at the beach. I was at Long Point, which does not have any service oh, at all. Oh, that's so, so wonderful. I I'm so it. happy for you. <laughs> I, I missed it for hours, actually. And finally, we're getting back into the car, leaving. And because Long Point's close enough to the States that your phone does that, mm-hmm. like, welcome to the U.S. You're going to be charged $15 a day. So I turned my data off. Yep. I'm not paying those fees. Yep. And I went back to the car, and it was like, oh, God, okay. Uh, so Shocker. My thing was, uh, I, was uh, I went out Saturday night so let's say I was in rough shape Sunday just <laughs> you know putting it out goes. there uh, so like you know I woke up later in the afternoon you know I was on the couch maybe I was uh, you know sideways on the couch and then I <laughs> saw it on Twitter and then I immediately switched to like one of the news channels CNN MSNBC uh, and nobody had anything and I was like what what is happening and like I understand TV sometimes things may be pre-taped believe it or not sometimes <laughs> things are pre-taped so I'm like how what? have they not cut in and it was Jen Psaki it was MSNBC I was watching because it was Jen Psaki mm-hmm. uh, her Biden's former press secretary, his first press secretary when he first got into office. Um, and then I'm watching the clock go by, and I'm like, I've already texted my buddies because yeah. I'm a news guy. I need to tell people. Oh, yeah. Even if it's just my friends, I need to tell them right You're the away. one in charge of telling your friend group what the news is. I it, get that. Is that you? Yes, okay, absolutely. Exactly. So you know how I feel about that. Yeah. Like I, and they're asking me, like, where did you see this? What? Yeah. I'm like, I'm not throwing out fake news here. <laughs> Twitter. It's Twitter. <laughs> it's from Biden. So finally, like five minutes after it happened, the yeah. news cut in and then it was just like for for 12 hours i was like glued to it i couldn't i couldn't turn not actually 12 hours because like i said i was in pretty rough shape uh but <laughs> it uh, felt like 12 hours <laughs> it felt like to that, to those 12 minutes of coverage i watched <laughs> um i mean were you expecting it were you not uh what were your thoughts i think yes and no i i think from the beginning was saying that he will drop down because I, I think the comparisons here for us were will biden drop down will trudeau drop down mm. my theory biden i said will drop down trudeau will not i'm still sticking with that one but I didn't think Sunday was necessarily going to be the day and apparently he made this announcement so quick some of his key aides didn't even know uh, apparently none of the news stations knew in advance it really was very very tight-lipped and he's like okay statement on Twitter go like launch yeah. <laughs> and it was really quick um, and like I said like I, I go to immediately chain it to a 24-hour news channel because mm. um, that's that's just who I am like I want to see how other people react yeah. like how would we have reacted in that situation you know where you know who was the first person they talked to who's the first first yeah. anchor that's on camera like I'm such a broadcast nerd that <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. what I'm looking for um but yeah no it was just it was just a weird day and I guess we shouldn't be too surprised though. yes you know last week it was even amongst like all the we're sticking with him last week yeah. when Nancy Pelosi was saying hey the polling numbers started shifting I mean if you were paying attention this shouldn't be a huge shock no no I, I think the question was really just will he continue on for the sake of continuing on and, and almost like sort of his pride or will he finally listen to these polling numbers because you're right they've been saying for a very long time that this is not going to work for him uh there were the fears of another debate what that would look like he did no. ne- he did nothing nothing at all from the debate to the point he resigned yeah. to reassure people 
I think he thought he was though, right? I think he thought those interviews were reassuring to yeah. people and most people were like, well, it wasn't as bad as the, the debate, but I'm not reassured. Well, last week was the Lloyd Austin, his defense secretary yes. on BET, referring to him as the black guy. Yep. Um, you, like I said, if you if you were paying attention, I, I don't think it came as such a shock. It's still shocking to see. Like, yeah. It's, you know, it's a point of, uh, it, it, it's never happened before. It's never happened, In no. a situation like this. But I think the COVID actually was the tip off mm. that point where I was like, okay, I mean, there was a lot of conspiracy out there saying he doesn't actually have COVID. He's just like, you know, taking a little breather, stepping out of the spotlight, and then he will announce. I don't think that was true. I think he probably had COVID, but I think it was just like another thing on top of this where it's like, oh God, this is not the time you want the president to have more brain fog than usual. <laughs> You're taking time off of the campaign trail. <laughs> he already has enough. <laughs> during his, yeah. He already has enough problem like following yeah. what's going on, yeah. saying the right names, saying the right dates. Like it's, oh, it wasn't looking good. So. so of course, again, uh, me being uh, you know watching this all happen live in real time in my own sort of brain fog. Let's put it on, <laughs> on uh, Sunday. Yeah. Um, I thought it was interesting because of course the first thing in his letter he makes no mention of endorsing anybody. Yep. And then right away that is the number one talking point. So yeah. you know it's well he didn't endorse Kamala Harris. He didn't endorse Kamala Harris. About ten minutes later, the tweet comes yeah. out that he was endorsing her, and I get it. Like. 10 years ago, 15 years ago, yep. this is broadcast at 8 p.m. on Wednesday, whenever he had that address, oh, yeah. right? Like 20 years ago, pre-social media, pre-leaks, pre-everything, no. but now it moved so quickly it did. that we didn't even have time to like, <laughs> oh man, Biden. It was Kamala, 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 Kamala. And it has been. And it is just taking off. Like yeah. talk a little bit about your expectation that that was going to happen or did this come out of nowhere? No, I was surprised by that actually more than anything. Biden stepping down, not super surprising. I figured he would endorse Harris. That's kind of the, the next step, especially when it comes to the question of money. Um, mm, that was one of the big things, you know, yeah, like yeah. 96 mil in the, the campaign coffer. Can that be transferred to another candidate? It doesn't really matter. We know it can be transferred to Harris, right? So she was going to take that and run. But I didn't expect the Democratic Party to rally quite like they have. And it's it's not just even lawmakers. It's voters. It's celebrity endorsements. It's it's literally every big Democrat now. Because, you know, you had a couple that yeah. were holding out for a few well, days. But the Obamas. The Obamas. Today. Yeah, you have Chuck Schumer. You have Hakeem Jeffries. Those were two of the holdouts. Also top Dems that hadn't initially endorsed her. But were, you know, they were like, okay, yeah, we could do this. And then came out with a full swing uh, endorsement. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I was surprised by that. I mean, it's only been what, like five days since <laughs> this happened, yeah. and the conversation has been completely Harris. Yeah, uh, Sunday, like it was Sunday. Yeah, and like that's the other thing. Oh, nice this every time, and there's probably <laughs> a jar that I can put a dollar in. But this this show just really puts it in perspective. Like, a how exhausting it is watching following the news. Like, let's Especially just get that the, out of the way. Like, I yeah. am. Like, we have it. We're we're. 20 minutes to 15 minutes into the show we haven't talked about the jasper wildfires yet no we haven't talked about benjamin netanyahu going into going to washington we haven't talked no. about uh you know trudeau being assaulted on the beach uh by reporters while on vacation i forgot about that um, one yeah i mean like we haven't even talked about the olympics <laughs> and here we are talking about an election that is tomorrow 100 days Ooh. tomorrow is when americans will head days. to the polls all right um how are you processing <laughs> living through these times <laughs> <laughs> and maybe that's, that's not the right question. way to put it, but how are you, what's your trick? Like I said, going to the beach, turning off your phone. Yeah. Sounds like a great piece of advice uh, yeah. that, I, that I should follow. But what's your, what's your advice to people who may just feel overwhelmed by what's going on right I, now? Honestly, I don't watch a ton of news all the time. I really yeah. can't handle it. I, I am... I think good with my professional detachment in my workplace, but the second that I leave, I very much feel everything. And like, mm. especially with something like the US election that will impact us Canadians so yeah. deeply and isn't just like, do you want this candidate or this candidate? Like it is looking at a, a real likelihood of a second Trump presidency. Um, that's really crushing sometimes. So yeah. I, I can't um, I can't do like all the think pieces about it. Yeah. I can't read about what people are predicting happening with that. I really need to like turn that off. Like I, I'm an Atlantic subscriber. I'm a big yeah. fan of the Atlantic yeah. magazine. Yeah. But they're notorious for putting out entire issues just about like what would happen if uh, if, the, if Trump was president. Yeah. What would happen to the Supreme Court if Trump was president? And I'm like I can't I can't yeah. <laughs> I can't um, do it. We haven't talked about JD Vance. Yes. Uh, the comments that have come out of him. Uh, a childless cat lady, which oh. uh, on that comment, 
what's what's not I feel like being talked about is uh, is kind of the homophobic slam on Pete Buttigieg. Yes, like who we're talking has kids. about who first of all has kids and is not a lady. Yeah, I mean like I feel like a lot of people are glossing over that fact just yeah. by saying like oh child's cat ladies ha 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 like AOC Pete like. There was there yeah. was more than a tinge of homophobia oh, in deeply. a comment like that. Um, it is a 2021 comment, and I actually don't know when Pete had. Uh, like, well, right what, after, right, right after, after Pete yeah, exactly. Okay. But I mean, like, and we haven't talked about any of the potential VP candidates. Mm-hmm. Um, well, we have 100 days to talk about that on trending now, <laughs> so we will definitely get to that. We'll uh, real quick on the Jasper stuff, um, those scenes absolutely devastating from Mm. what we're seeing out of a a beautiful resort town i'll admit i've only been there once or twice Uh, my preferred route was through calgary uh but any people who were in edmonton uh just some of the images we're seeing and just just kind of the wildfire season again just a terrifying part of the year i'm actually surprised we haven't felt the impact more in ontario last year i Mm. remember there being weeks of poor air quality to the point where i had all my windows shut at home every single day um and we haven't necessarily felt that as strongly so i think this is this season's first set of images that are really coming out with just devastation it's Mm. unrecognizable i i've not been but all the photos online have been jarring to see yeah jason with uh with a great update on it yesterday seeing danielle smith Mm -hmm. uh you know emotional at the press conference and again uh our thoughts are with uh, people in jasper uh and all the people fighting those fires Mm -hmm. um again didn't we're not gonna get to jd vance even though i'd want to (laughs) because a lot of funny things that he says uh the diet mountain dew uh just just swinging a mess uh whether trump's already regretting him uh anthony scaramucci was on uh, cnn i think last night he says now we gotta wonder how many scaramucci's he's gonna last <laughs> um so we'll see uh, do, i i would i could actually predict trump pulling him and putting somebody else on you think oh just the chaos agent because he, he'll just yeah. blame he'll say well you know the uh, democrats changed theirs up last minute too I know. right on so. paper he's perfect for trump's campaign but in practice it hasn't really been hitting the way that i think he thought yeah. it would and again i'm sure he's gonna put yeah. his foot in his mouth a couple more times uh, between now and election day yep. uh let's talk about this bev priestman situation uh, i have the story yes uh, two days ago mm-hmm. it's had some updates since then of course uh bev priestman originally uh, took herself out of the first game which was on thursday now she's been sent home this seems like it's a bigger deal now canada soccer saying uh yeah this might have been going on longer yeah. not a great look no this is astounding to me um i i thought it was frankly just kind of stupid to be caught with a drone at your olympics practice um i i don't know why that thought that was a good decision there's obviously so much surveillance happening right now in <laughs> france in paris because of the olympics that yep. <laughs> why would you just and my understanding also is that drones are not fully legal in france either you can't just fly a drone wherever you want yeah one of the um, operators was arrested yeah with, yeah like one of the canadian guys sent home uh, canadian people sent home uh now there's been three of them uh, including the head coach i uh, was arrested with a promise to appear or uh, however it worked out but flying a drone the fact that it's been going on for a while this is the defending gold medal champion yeah. i mean like just classic like can't just go into the olympics like and i was complaining I about this because my grandma w- said something but like there should be more good news and you're like yes <laughs> the olympics finally some good news and now we're going yeah. into it with this cloud of conscience or uh, contro- controversy, however the British say it. Oh, controversy. I, controversy. I, I agree, though. I feel like the time that I am the most patriotic is usually during the Olympics or an event like that. I'm thinking specifically like ice dancing, Tessa Virtue, Scott Moyer. Mm. I've never felt more patriotic about being Canadian in my yeah. life. And the, the women's soccer team does that for me as well, where I'm I'm really proud of our women's soccer team and their gold medal at the Olympics. Yeah. And uh, this, it not only throws whatever happens this in this Olympics, uh, like under a, a spotlight, it also, all of our previous accomplishments, were those yeah. real? Were they not? Would we have won without spying? Were we spying the entire time? We will it's not good. F- we'll find out. Uh, I've been around Canada soccer. Rick Westhead last night dropped this big, long piece right before they announced that uh, Bev Friesman was going home. And one of the specific games that they mentioned was a game I was at, like covering it for one soccer in oh, uh, wow. my previous job before I got here. So it was like, oh, like I was there. Like somebody who was also there is maybe the source to this story. Now I'm like thinking who was there. <laughs> You're one degree um, separation away know, from the I drone know. scandal. It's pretty <laughs> crazy. Pretty crazy stuff. Um, you got big plans for the weekend? 
A uh, good question. What am I doing this? Oh, it's my brother's birthday. Oh, yeah, yes, yeah. yes. You talked about that. Yep. So uh, we're. Are, uh, are you are you a gathering or a going out place, people? We're a big escape room family. Oh. Yeah, we're very into like puzzles and games as yeah. a family. So we've done literally dozens of escape rooms together. So there's a <laughs> new one at one of our favorite places. So okay. we're gonna go try the new room. We just won't do any scary ones because my mom. I like the, where people mm, jump out. Yeah, not that's not for my mom. Um, is it a very organized process? I can imagine like the t like you're listing things you're pointing things out right away oh yes we've done so many even together we all have our own strengths <laughs> yeah so like my mom's a fifth grade teacher she does all the math problems yeah. <laughs> my, my dad any room that's like scary or dark my dad goes in first okay. <laughs> like he's the the brave one you know yeah. my brother is great spatially like he's just got a really good like puzzle mind so yeah. he's good at puzzles i do whatever's left i don't know <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's awesome well enjoy yeah. uh thanks for doing this the podcast is a little different today but yeah. uh we we work with what we got i guess exactly all right, which is what we've done all week. You've done a great job hosting. You've done a great uh, job reporting. Oh, thanks. Come on. No. Um, we should mention a little programming note. Uh, no trending now next week. So if you're looking for us, uh, they will be on repeat. So just as a heads up, uh, if you're wondering where we are, uh, refer to this clip on the podcast as to uh, where we are. Uh, thanks so much to Emily Taylor for sitting down with, with me throughout the show. Uh, thanks to Chantel Grillo for producing and directing today's show. Hey, we could not do without you, the viewer. And uh, we want to make sure you subscribe to all of our various social media channels on trending now that includes on x and on youtube and while you're liking and subscribing and all that stuff uh why don't you go ahead and do that for our podcast and go to chch.com slash podcast or if you're watching scan the qr code that is on your screen uh, one more time thank you for listening from all of us here at chch i'm louis becco have a great day